Hey everybody, I'm Sean. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. On today's episode, first and foremost, the back is feeling better, so uh, I'm gonna go out and give it a try today. Uh, in addition to that, I am back out testing these Savage Gear lures. Uh, for those of you that have been watching the channel, you know that earlier in the year I took these out to test them, had a great day, caught my personal best walleye, caught my uh, biggest pike of the year at that time before the trip to Great Slave Lake. Um, but that was in the part of the year when the pike are not that difficult to catch. So we are now in late August. It's going to be hot out, close to 30 degrees today. The pike are going to be in deeper water. The smaller ones are going to be hiding. Um, so are these things going to be as effective? That's what we're going to find out. So let's get on the water. All right, everybody. So I've got the line out in the water. Just put it out. Uh, first uh, troll here of the day. Just an update on conditions. Beautiful day out here, no wind. Uh, it is gonna be warmer later, so watch the temperature. Weed growth is up quite a bit, so gonna have to find a little bit deeper water. Got my wife out here paddling with me today. She's off in the distance there. And uh, relatively quiet. There's only uh, two other boats out on the lake, so we'll see what we can do. Uh, water conditions water temperature is pretty warm 21 degrees or around 70 fahrenheit uh, which is also going to make it a little bit challenging from a fishing perspective just because those fish are going to be a little bit more sluggish but uh water out here today is crystal clear so uh, that's going to allow me to do some underwater releases if i catch anything and also more importantly it's going to allow those fish to see the lure from a lot further away so hopefully that works in my favor all right I'm going to get at it here, I'm going to keep trolling, and uh, I'll get back to you guys if I pick something up. I finally got one. Um, could not pick anything up on the Savage Gears today. So after quite a while trolling, I switched over to the uh, Len Thompson. You know, our old go-to. And this feels like a pretty decent fish, actually. Either that or it's wrapped in the weeds. I think this might be a good one. I haven't seen it yet, but I gave a couple of good shakes and then off it went. But I think this has got some weight to it. So if this isn't in the weeds, this is a good one. There's a shake. I think this is a decent size. Oh, maybe it was just wrapped around the line. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It's still not bad. All right. There we go. Try, try to avoid the death roll here as much as possible. That is not huge. That deceived me because it was wrapped in the line, which always makes them feel a lot bigger than they are. There we go. Oh, and gone. Well, got off the fish grips, that's fine. I, uh, I think I mentioned that last time. And <laughs> I haven't replaced them yet. All right, we are about a minute later here. So it looks like I finally found a couple. This one feels pretty similar to the last one. So I'm not into anything big, but it always feels good to get the skunk off and get a couple fish to the boat. About the same as the last one. Whew. Good run. Oh, that one's definitely bigger than the last one. All right, there's the biggest one of the day so far. 
Unfortunately, got a little blood going on there. That fish is 27 and a half inches long. All right, let's try to get this one released. And gone. Another one I just picked up in the shallows here. So I'll talk a little bit about my strategy for today. Obviously I want to catch something on the Savage Gear lures. And so I tried them for a while and I am going to go back to them. But the other thing was to determine the depth of these fish. And so um, I started trolling different depths. I was in uh, four to five meters or 12 to 15 feet. And then in this last run, I kind of came into about that 12, 10 to 12 foot range. That's where I picked up all three of these fish. Um, and so they seem to be in that kind of uh, part of the water column. And that one is off. That one is about similar to the last one, about 27, 28 inches. Um, so I found at least the smaller fish, the, you know, four, three, four, five pounders in uh, around this nine to 12 feet of water mark. So that's great. I've got a couple fish. I am gonna continue to troll this line just quickly here for a couple more minutes. And then I'm gonna transition out into the deeper water, put the Savage gears back on and see if I can get into something different. Maybe something a little bigger or see if I can find some fish out there. So, um, but that's good news. That's three now, uh, all in the same depth all trolling the Len Thompson and of course uh, we gotta love if we can't catch fish you guys know that's what we throw on there almost always works this one is the uh, number two Len Thompson fire five of diamonds uh, which is also one of our favorite patterns after the green and white all right you guys so what I did was I uh, switched to the 12 inch savage gear and went out in the deep water so I'm slow trolling here in 10 meters or 30 feet of water. Lots of fish down at the bottom. Um, from what I can see, most of them probably small walleye or small perch or maybe even some whitefish. Um, and they're right near the bottom in that cold water. Uh, I have been trolling out here with the big 12 inch now for almost a half an hour. Uh, no success and before that I used the this uh, 8 inch for also about uh, 20 minutes in more like uh, 20 feet of water so the savage gears are not attracting them today um, they're just not on to the pike so I don't know if when they're lazier they're feeding on some smaller baits like I said I had some good success with the Len Thompson and it's obviously much smaller so uh, but who knows could just be that they're picky on pike today um, I'm gonna continue to troll this one for a little bit longer in some of this deeper water trying I know there's a spot out here uh, in the middle of the lake that's got some structure at about uh, 20 feet down so I'm gonna go around that structure a couple times and then I'm going to switch back to the eight inch and do a little bit along the edge in between um, 15 to 20 feet of water. And if that doesn't work, then that's probably gonna do it for today for the Savage Gear. I've thoroughly tested it out um, and I'd probably at that point switch back to the Len Thompson. So um, my wife went in to have a rest so I'm basically gonna troll this thing and then troll over to where she's sitting on, uh, on the, the edge of the, the lake here. Then I would probably switch over to my ultralight and start doing some spoon fishing with an ultralight. So that's an update. Not a lot of success today on the Savage Gears. And uh, I will obviously update you if that changes. Okay, you guys, afternoon. Went in for a rest, had some coffee with my wife, and uh, back out. Sticking to the plan here, which was 
to switch to uh, the light rod and the Len Thompson. <laughs> there we go. I got on to our first one here after lunch. Since the water's so clear today, I'll try to do an underwater release. Alright you guys, this might be the last fish of the day. We'll take it. It's got a little fight in it. Oh, and there it goes. Gone. This out, you will not believe this. I caught a fish and it dove into the weeds and I didn't even know I had a fish. So there's the fish. <laughs> and you can see why there was no fight. Look at the weed ball on this thing. <laughs> and I think it's a decent sized fish actually. I think I got a decent one. A good, a, not a bad one. Probably my biggest of the day here. So um, I don't know. <laughs> Try to get some of this weed ball off here. That is unbelievable. That weed ball added about 20 pounds, maybe maybe 25 pounds to that fish. <laughs> and I didn't even know it was on there at all. And it isn't that big. It is literally just covered in weeds. Look at that thing. Unbelievable. Fish is also wrapped up in the line. That is the one of the strangest catches I've had in a long time like uh, look at that oh the fish is gone <laughs> oh man so this clump of trees right here is where I'm gonna go uh, load up my kayak so I am about uh, probably 10 to 15 minutes away from being done here so nice that I could pick one up on the way in. Okay, everybody, that is gonna do it. Uh, I'm tired. Back held up okay, but I'm a little bit stiff. And uh, as you can see behind me, we got rain clouds moving in. There's a thunderstorms coming, so we decided to pack it up. Uh, I ended up the day with nine fish, so not too bad considering the conditions out here are pretty rough. It was flat, it was hot, uh, the water was hot, the fish were sluggish. I didn't catch a single fish on those Savage Gear lures, which is crazy considering how many I got the last time I was here. And that just goes to show you that you gotta change things up and never be afraid to go uh, with some new techniques, some new lures. I, I changed depths today, and of course I went to those Len Thompsons, which are our favorites, and they paid off and worked again. I caught all nine fish today on the Fire Five of Diamonds, the number two from Len Thompson. So, not the most exciting episode, but uh, I was able to put some fish in the kayak and uh, show that you can catch those fish in the middle of summer when the bite is tough. All right, that's going to do it for today. For those of you that are looking for the giveaway, I am going to do the giveaway in the next episode. I will draw the winner. If some of you are wondering what giveaway, 
go back to the last episode i'm giving away some beard zero lures all right that's going to close it out for today remember guys if you liked the video smash that like button hit subscribe and until next time good fishing